Thank you so much for joining us at 4.30. Kira and Janelle are working on the 5 o'clock newscast next. They're going to have the latest for you on that breaking news we're following of that police chase in the East Bay. We're back in just two minutes. A very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Garcia. And I'm Marcus Washington. Just like your morning coffee, take your news to go. We're going to get to your headlines in just a moment, but first, trending for you this morning. Our temperatures across much of the Bay Area will be heating up. They got word just now from BART that they have reinstated service. Community colleges are moving students forward with new bachelor's degree programs. We'll get more local news right now. That's on Roku along with NBCBayArea.com. NBC Bay Area, moving the Bay Area forward. I got hurt in a car accident. I need a lawyer, but I can't afford one. I'm flat broke. We don't get paid unless you get paid. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 415-900-0000 or visit lawbrothers.com. This is exactly what I was looking for. Look at that. Elevate your next kitchen project with Airport Home Appliances' massive in-stock premium and luxury appliance selection. Our highly trained experts are here to help find what you need and get it delivered when you need it. So whether it's a small budget or large budget, we're committed to making your next kitchen project a reality with zero interest financing for 24 months on select premium appliance brands only at Airport Home Appliance. notorious for car break-ins. We sent our reporter to those neighborhoods to see if police were there, what we found, and how tourists are reacting. Also, a Bay Area bakery is refusing to serve police officers. Why the bakery is taking this stance. And we're live at the U.S. Gymnastics Championship in San Jose. The women get ready to start their competition. We catch up with everyone from Simone Biles to local athletes looking to make a name for themselves. The news at 5 starts right now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kira Clapper. Good Friday, everyone. I'm Janelle Wang. We're going to begin with the breaking news we've been following since the 4.30 newscast. And uh, police pursuit has ended right now in the East Bay, and they're searching for a suspect. This is right near a park called Booker T. Park. It's in Richmond. Uh, this is right off the 580. Uh, this chase has been going on for about almost two hours now. Uh, it started around 3.20 this afternoon in the East Bay and we're told that police started pursuing this car across the freeway back into San Francisco and that's when they backed off and stopped pursuing the car because as you can see the driver in this infinity is going at extreme high speeds even swiping some cars so they called off the ground pursuit but they were following this car by air the siege you could see makes some dangerous maneuvers on 580 westbound this was just about a half hour ago he gets stuck behind some cars and then aggressively maneuvers around them in between cars onto the shoulder we saw him sideswipe several cars you can see his front uh, bumper on the left hand side has some damage we don't know why this pursuit started in the first place around 320 police have not told us why they started pursuing this infinity but they did call off the police pursuit and as I mentioned, it ended at Booker T. Anderson Park in Richmond just about 20 minutes ago. The driver, we think, got out of this park. We saw kids playing in this park. Police finally arrived. There are lots of officers on scene right now trying to look for the suspect. This is where the car stopped. In those trees, it looks like it was kind of a dead end. And you can see how many police officers are there right now. And it looks like... Uh, the motorcycle cops are there, uh, patrol cars, but there are about a dozen at least police officers at this park right now searching for the suspect. Uh, Sky Ranger has been over the scene for the past hour, and we saw the car end up on this uh, street in this area, in this neighborhood of Richmond, and they're now actively looking for the suspect. Uh, when we get more information on why this pursuit happened and if they've actually apprehended the suspect, of course, we will notify you. We absolutely will, Janelle. Thanks for that. It is a plan now. We're going to turn to a plan to crack down 
on car break-ins. We know they are such a problem in the city of San Francisco. The police unveiled a plan yesterday saying it includes stepping up patrols in the biggest problem spot. Yeah, and the crackdown started today. We wanted to see if it's actually happening and how it's working. NBC Barry's Christy Smith went to check it out. After yesterday's announcement about car break-ins, we did see police in some high-profile areas, but we also saw a broken window and ran into people with a story to tell. Mm. Oh, 